Psalms 45 My heart is stirred up in me by a noble theme as I recite my verses for the commander-in-chief. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace since God has given you blessings forever. Gird your sword, gird your weapon on your side, your mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. In your majesty ride forth victory in the cause of truth, humility, and justice. Let your right hand achieve awesome deeds. Let your sharp arrows, let your bullets pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O oh God, will last forever and ever. Scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. You love what is right and hate what is evil. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions My, by anointing you with oil of joy. All your robes are fragrant with myrrh and aloe and cassia from palaces adorned with ivory. The music of the strings made you glad. Daughters of kings are among your honored women. At the right hand is your royal bride in gold of Ophir. Listen, daughter, pay attention, careful attention. Forget your people and your father's house. Let the king be enthralled by your beauty. Honor him, and he is your Lord. The city of Tyre will come with a gift. People of wealth will seek your favor. All glorious is the princess within her chamber. Her gown is interwoven with gold. In embroidered garments she is led to the king. Her virgin companions follow her. Those brought to be with her, led in with joy and gladness. They enter the palace of the commander. Your sons will take the place of your fathers. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will perpetuate and endure your memory through all generations. Therefore, the nations will honor you forever.